Today is Wednesday, and so I am here with a Kids Corner Ministry Update. For posterity's sake, I would like to say it is Wednesday, April 15th. It should be tax day, but it is not. We have been in quarantine for 31-ish days, and if all of that weren't crazy enough, it is snowing. <sighs> I know many of you are wondering, when will this end? When will we be able to return back to normal? And the answer is, we don't know, but we do know it will end someday. And so in addition to connecting with you guys as much as possible online and through Sunday school lessons and other means, um, the Christian growth team, which consists of Jeff Peck, Ashley Muelink, Andrew Morton, and myself, we are looking ahead um, and there are a few updates that I would like to give to you in regards to what we are working on changing for when we return. The first thing is we're continuing to look at our policies handbook and just looking through our safety procedures for your children because their safety is our highest priority, which means kids, you're gonna have to start wearing your name tags all the time. I know you hate that, but so one of our goals is to keep you safe by knowing where you are and who you are at all times. Another thing, which is way more exciting than um, that part, <laughs> the safety part, is we're painting the third floor. And we are working on a really cool theme. Kid City is gonna be a lot of bright colors and kind of a comic book type theme. And so we're painting the third floor and we're gonna add some decor and things like that, and just getting ready for when you return. The next thing is that we are reviewing and updating our curriculum and making sure we're really sure what was working before and what wasn't, and looking through and starting to really fine tune how that curriculum matches with what our vision is for our, our children's ministry. Thinking through what are our goals, what would we like to achieve, and what do we think is important for our church and your children in terms of what they learn in these super formative years. Um, that's all I have for us for today. And I would like to just say that I miss you guys so much and I'm so excited to bring these, these updates and I was reading in Psalms this morning, and I would like to give you this verse. Psalm 31, 21 through 24. Blessed be the Lord, for he has wondrously shown his steadfast love to me when I was in a besieged city. I said in my alarm, I am cut off from your sight, but you heard the voice of my pleas for mercy when I cried to you for help. Love the Lord, all you saints. The Lord preserves the faithful, but abundantly replay, repays the one who acts in pride. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord.